Pinot Black, folks, and you're going to put this in your computer and you're going to love it. ClimateViewer.com. Okay. Now remember, try to private everything and go to here, and I'm downloading it now. Plug in for the 3D thing. But you can go to Climate Viewer and you can get all kinds of maps and links real fast. So I'm going to take you to a guy who's got a tutorial on it right now on his website. It's Jim Lee. It's real cool. He's got most of us uh, in our, in his. He's got, he likes the two minute news. He's into just about every, he's in our group, pretty much our area, our part of the world of brain knowledge, okay? Rad Chick is there. Uh, he watches RT. Uh, just remember, everything is propaganda. Uh, Bino is not propaganda. I try to give you raw data, facts, and truth, okay? Raw data, facts, and truth. The actual factual things that are going on. Propaganda is going on 24 7 all the time. Uh, F-22s to Pacific is basically high-tech planes and keep them in a warmer area, okay? So check out him here, Jim Lee. He's got a good good site. Uh, what we got going on in this climate thing, I'm going to be checking this thing out. I think it's pretty cool. i just getting into that. What we got going on, and I was doing a search here, and then I'll just hit my back button, because we got water steaming in a river. There's no nuclear power near there although I do know like I was doing my presume and assume there of a nuclear sub there's something going on there's a dam so more than likely they might have either that or they've got a steam engine somewhere that is out of control because in this area if you look at the maps in Russia and stuff like that so it's this part, part of Russia there uh there happens to be so these are hazards all over the world and we got to get the UN to start paying attention to what's going on in nuclear because we got Fuku fudge up and all they're worried about is propaganda and powers to be trying to get a war going somewhere in the world because the economy is screwed so this place over there has got steam and water and you can basically see the dam okay you can see the dam right up here or bridge Okay, so local traffic is what made it noticeable. Fish are dying, and there's a video here to go watch it. Basically, just going to show you these pictures because it's Russia. You take a picture, you flash it across, and we want to thank the eagle because uh, the eagle got the picture out. So, any eagles in the world we want to thank. So, that's what's going on there. Uh, I'll take you to show you the area. In question is this large area of Russia. It's this province, provincial area here. They don't call them provinces, but that's what it would be there. I'm going to pop it over. So you don't, you don't show it there, but there's two people dead at this one down here. And I think I can take you to the data on that real fast. Click away. So you believe what I'm saying. There's two people dead from that, but that's in the lower part of uh, Russia. Two confirmed dead on that, and that a, was a... Uh, biological hazard. You got to remember they're going to cover up a nuclear anything with biological hazard. Okay. Now there was only a small amount of high magnitude earthquakes, and basically I'm going to have to reload that. But uh, one was over here in uh, at the peninsula, and basically that's right by the Aleutians here, folks. I don't think I'm going to open that up right now. I'm going to finish this off with showing you the Mid Atlantic Ridge, how large it is. Now what everybody needs to remember is the actual factual how large it is and how earth has been been like a, a wall getting tons of paint thrown on it all through the years the mid, mid atlantic ridge is the european landmass area and how the earth has grown stretched fallen apart and basically it's not falling apart but when you get ocean water <clears throat> then it overlaps dry land and you get different continents and so forth and so forth so it's very large and basically that quake was way up here up by Iceland, I believe. Okay. Uh, so basically, it's called the re it's Reconjanes Reconjanes Ridge is basically what it's someone it's known, but it's basically still the Mid Atlantic Ridge, and it had a 4.8, uh, 5.1, 5.4 was down in that Russian region that I was showing you. Because that's what this basically is, is a Russian region, 5.4, North Pacific Ocean. So, and then Fiji had 5.4. So basically, 5.4, and then the North Pacific, and all the way up to 
the Russian location is the highest <coughs> magnitude earthquake we had yesterday. Uh, and basically up to date because this is the 20th. So it was pretty calm yesterday on the 19th. I don't think I'm going to show the 19th image now. I could be wrong that there might have been a higher magnitude than that yesterday. But for the most part, we're in a calm area, period. And we got the Moloch C that ended up, so we'll end up taking a look at... I guess was totally wrong, and here it's over by the Philippines, Indonesia. Zoom out. See, south of the Philippines, just east of the Indonesia, Papua New Guinea is to the east of it. So there you go. <coughs> Wild guess, but I was wrong. But anyway, there you go. So in the dry areas and even in the not so dry index areas, getting fires, as you see here on the Intellicast map. So help the firefighters out in your area. And even in not in these areas, help the firefighters out all the time. So keep the fires down. Okay. <clears throat> Heat, I've seen 88 degrees in Florida somewhere. So hang on a minute. So most importantly, you need to start looking at the space, stars, planets, magnification that is coming up and rising at their highest point or at least starting to rise because as you can see we're getting this earthquake line here across and yes it is noon here and we want to thank the church for being able to play the bells and everything at noon at least everybody knows it's time to go eat it's good for the economy because a lot of people don't pay money to eat much more anymore which is a good thing too <coughs> so it seems to be working now so anyway, and it's unusual how they take the red off of the East Coast quakes as fast as they can because it didn't happen very long ago, okay? 2.0 there in Georgia, and then this one here yesterday in Missouri. They don't like to talk about the Mid-Atlantic Ridge having earthquake problems. They sure, uh, FEMA sure has enough uh, uh, ready-made coffins that your tax dollars have already paid for, whether you've spent your tax dollar or not, or earned it, for that matter. It's a very monogamous unmonogamous. You know, it's very monogamous. System we have. So, I want to make a little comment of the idea that some of the people in the country that have newspapers, uh, or if you want to buy a newspaper, if it's real cheap, buy it. Because <clears throat> it gives you the right to flap your, you know, hopefully the truth. Uh, that's why British always usually have tabloids, and American news on the internet is a bunch of tabloids. Is someone, someone calls, someone says, Heidi's going to Clue may sue somebody. Everybody's always says something, and it's so powerful because the idea that they're rich and they're connected to somebody who's got a piece of paper and get on the internet and write an article. It's a bunch of horse shit. Actual factual data. Someone sues something. Something's in court. It's on record. It's down there. You can go get it. The toilet paper in the news, you're dying real fast. People don't even watch TV anymore. They're having a hard time selling TVs. They're selling them dirt cheap just to get people to watch TV. The younger generation is sick of propaganda and bullshit. So, basically, just a little comment from me. Because, I mean, I just pop in here to, you know, I'm what site I'm probably at. And I just went there. Big deal. And... I'm not promoting them or anything because there's all kinds of bullshit down here, all kinds of crap. It's just a bunch of toilet paper. I don't really care about the politics. You know, I'm not going to push on you who I want to be president because basically I would want me to be president. Why would I want another piece of shit that's probably not going to do everything I told him to do? So, anyway, uh, they say, they say, some, I don't even give a shit who RG3 is, uh, and it's just a bunch of crap. And why is anybody even mentioning this? Uh, whoever this quarterback is could turn around and sue whoever the hell is writing an article like this. Uh, nobody's finances is anybody's business, especially in my state. So anyhow, I knew Britain had a 4.9. Western Turkey had a small one, 2.7, since the Philippines had the 4.9 since the beginning of this video. I had lunch and stuff like that, so we'll see what else we can throw in the video. So anyway, here's some killer footage of Venus. 
everybody else is paying attention to what I've been seeing too and doing different shots. Check the reaction Venus is getting. So what it is, it looks like pretty much factual here with your eyes watching this that the idea that when Venus gets uh, too close to the sun's uh, fields that we, the scientists have been studying for years, check it out. So it's a de definitely a connection, whether it's electrical. I mean, it is because it would be static. Okay, so whenever you talk, whenever anything's static, go scratch a cat, and then go touch something. We don't have to explain it to you about static electricity. So the atmosphere of Jupiter is exactly doing what Beano Black has said it's been doing, and it's not a photographic flare. So. The electrical magnetism off the sun. I can't see too good on this. I'm outside. So I'm just playing you the tape and then you'll see and get what you're going to get. So check it out. And then this footage clearly shows also that the idea that the sun just reacts whenever anything gets close to its magnetic field. Certain object in space. And then whammo. And you'll see the object come in again in the planet's movement also. And they get too too close and it's just it's only so much room in the neighborhood. So I somewhat apologize, but I don't apologize. I'm outside enjoying the weather. We from the Northland, we know that there's only going to be so much of it left, so get out and enjoy it. Even though it's windy and noisy. And that's the actual fact of it all, folks. I'm not on the internet, out of range, so here you go with that over there. Take a look at that one. It's not way more than three hours ago, because I'm sitting at 2.33 p.m. right now. And anyhow, uh, these, uh, the beautiful, out, almost infinite space of outer space... If we are getting to enjoy from our tax dollars, at least we do have something that we spend our tax dollars on that we enjoy. And we get to see beautiful shots from space. So check out everything you can check. Heal of Viewer uses our government taxpayer money. I'm sure that they probably pay so much rent or something like that. Uh, so we love Heal of Viewer because it works pretty good. It's a good link for the links that we sometimes get shut down by uh, the government. Just because they're upgrading all the time, right? My ass. So, anyway, we're getting some pretty good views out there of what's going on in space, and we pretty much know just as about as much, or maybe more. Well, not more, but just about as much as NASA does about the sun's electrical magnetical field, and also the electrical magnetical field and the atmosphere of both A, B, and that's basically are the satellites, folks, but all the planets. And Jupiter, we've been getting a good shot of lately because the idea of Jupiter should be the closest thing going, doing all that wild action. So anyway, Beano out for now. I'll upload this when I get back to the net. Take it easy, folks. Goodbye from the top of the world. Pretty much North America. Well, not the top of North America, but top of America. So... Be no out for now.